The first thing the AutoCAD Electrical and SDS Toolkit provides is ways to create intelligent and automated schematics. Here's an example of some of the steps. We'll start using the Insert Schematic Component tool and browse to where our symbol is located. Notice the icon menu provides an easy way to navigate to the various menus and find the symbol that you are looking for. Picking your insertion point on a wire, the tools will automatically trim the wire, attaching the wires to wire connection points on the symbol. Next, the Insert Edit Component dialog box appears where you can fill out information. Not only is all of the information editable with attributes on the blocks, but there's also tools to automatically add information in, such as picking Master Control Relay and having the lines automatically fill out. We can also do a catalog lookup to assign bill of material information to the component. For example, here, you can see I can choose between different components scrolling through the list and I'm going to pick this one P200A1 that has two normally open contacts with it. When I select the component not only is the catalog and manufacturer information created but also we have the automatic pins that are added to the component as well. When I pick OK here you can see that the component is automatically inserting and it's prompting me to update all of the other components. Notice one on this drawing located over here. And real-time error checking is also provided. If we have child contacts, and I'll go back to my schematic component again, grab another normally open contact, notice how the symbol is coming in horizontally oriented, but selecting the wire automatically rotates and inserts it on the rung. Now we simply link it to the parent and you can see not only is the parent all inserted but we have pin list information that's coming in from the catalog information as well. Now remember we chose two normally open contacts and you can see those here and here. Notice how the parent automatically updated with that intelligence. Finally I'll start a third insert. Notice the tools even remembering previous entries when I select the insertion point and try to link it to one of the existing components, real-time error checking is comparing the number of insertions with the catalog part number to allow us our changes. Now that we have the information in our schematic, the next step is to reuse that information again and again. In the example here, we'll go to the panel drawing and insert these two push buttons, PB0501 and 0502, reusing existing information from the schematic drawings. Here is the example. We'll move to the Panel tab, select on Insert Schematic List, and select from the project because we want to get the information from a drawing that's not the current drawing. So we'll pick 05, the drawing that we were working in, and the tools will extract a list of information for us and by marking existing we can see exactly what tools or what symbols still need to be inserted. I'll select these two components PB05 and 01 and use the automatic footprint lookup. Since I'm picking more than one, I can put in the default spacing between the components and automatically have AutoCAD Electrical insert the symbols into my drawing. There it's found the first symbol, again based on the part number information I added, and it automatically put in both PB0501 and 0502, again, based on the part number information in the catalog. From here, we can also extract that information into any series of reports. For example, we'll go to our Panel Reports tool, select a bill of material for the active drawing. The tools will extract all of the bill of material information from this drawing and create it in a list for us that can be easily customizable by changing the report format. 
For this presentation, I'm simply going to insert it onto the drawing as a table. Notice that there are 60 lines of information, and I know that won't all fit on my drawing, so I'll space that out with 32 rows with an inch distance in between. And you can see how it's automatically created the bill of material report on the drawing from the information contained on the symbols. This means we automatically created a process where we inserted the information once on the schematic, extracted it from the schematic for insertion into our panel layout drawing, and extracted the information from there to create our report as a table on the current drawing.